Good morning, Jam Champs. I'm Elias. And I'm Ellie. And today is Friday, October 28th, 2016. And, and you're watching JMA News. This week, we are celebrating Breast Cancer Awareness Month by wearing our pink shirts. Hey, Eli, you're looking pretty good in your pink shirt. Oh, stop it. I'd do anything to support breast cancer awareness. We were raising money by throwing a mat ball game, 6th, 7th, and 8th period. Who do you think's going to win? I think the teachers are going to win, but the students are pretty good as well. Who do you think's going to win? I think students are going to win because we have a better team. I think students are going to win. I believe that the students are going to win because they're a lot more energetic and know the game very well. I think the students are going to win because they're more competitive. I think students are going to win because they have better technique. We're coming for you! We're going to beat you, yes! We're coming! Watch out! We got you! Come on! Yeah! Yeah! We're going to win! Whoever will win will have a great day and we're all working together to find a cure for breast cancer. This week was Red Ribbon Week. Over the past three days, we have done something special for our theme, You Only Live Once. Kylie has the scoop on how this week has gone. This week was our Red Ribbon Week. Red Ribbon Week is annually celebrated to get young people to live a drug-free lifestyle. Red Ribbon Week is the largest and oldest drug prevention campaign in the country. Red Ribbon Week started on Tuesday and ended yesterday. On Tuesday, we had hat day. We were putting a cap on drugs. On Wednesday was Crazy Sock Day. I was super excited to see what crazy socks you guys were wearing. And yesterday was Sunglasses Day. We were shading out drugs. On Wednesday, we had the judging of our annual door decorating contest. There were a lot of great doors, but there could only be one winner. And the winner of this year's contest is Miss Schaffner's class. Congratulations, your door looked fantastic. Another event that happened on Wednesday was students got the chance to sign the banner in the cafeteria during lunch, pledging to be drug free. After you sign, you got a free bracelet. This Red Ribbon Week was a lot of fun. Remember Jam Champs, think before choosing to do drugs. Keep a positive mind, positive life, and positive vibe and you will stay away from drugs. YOLO! Just remember that you only live once, so watch out what you're putting inside of your body. Our clubs are in full swing. Today, the chess club will meet in the cafeteria until 4.10. We have two clubs meeting on Tuesday. The art club will meet in Miss Bonadies' room until 4.10. And the 7th and 8th grade A team will meet in Miss Acock's classroom until 4.30. If you love writing, remember the creative writing club will meet in Miss Torres' room. Math counts will meet on Thursday in Miss Donald's classroom after school. The basketball and volleyball teams have started practice in the gym. The boys will practice on Tuesday and Thursday the girls will practice on Wednesday and Friday. The girls volleyball team have their first game on November 1st. Both games will be right here in our gym, so come cheer our teams on. Do you get hungry during the day? Good news, you can buy pizza and soda every Tuesday and Thursday on the 16 square blacktop after school. Pizza is $2 and soda is $1. I'm so glad we can get a snack before heading home. We'll be back after these messages. When you're hot on a sunny day, look around. What does everybody have in their hands? Popsicles. These ice-cold, refreshing treats can surely brighten up your day. It's something fun to eat with your friends, too. And it only costs 25 cents. When was the last time you visited our school's library? After you sign in, you have a variety of books to choose from. Whether you're a fan of mysteries and sci-fi, or fables and short stories, the library is guaranteed to have a book for you. So come down to the library and find a great book today. If you want to buy a yearbook, this is the best time of year to do so because the cheapest it will ever be. You can go to www.balfour.com and purchase your yearbook for only $35. NJHS is doing their first community project. They have organized a canned food drive for all of us to participate in so we can help out those who are in need. You can take your donated items to one of the barrels located on the campus. You can find the barrels located conveniently in the media center and the cafeteria. The canned food drive will last until November 4th. Let's all do our parts and help others in this community project. Students have been very busy in their classrooms. So let's take a glance at what's happening in the classrooms on subject by subject. 
In Coach Fisher's PE class, the students are playing Tic Tac Cardio. The students are split into two teams, the pink and yellow teams. Twelve hoops are placed in a tic-tac-toe form. The objective is to run and place a beanbag in one of the hoops to get all of your team's beanbags in a row before the other team does. Once their beanbag is in a hoop, they run back and tag another teammate who will place a beanbag in a hoop. Whoever gets their beanbag in the row first wins the tic-tac-toe cardio. In Mr. Hatzer's geometry class, students are finishing a worksheet dealing with reflections. A reflection is a shape that has been flipped over a line, which is usually the X or Y axis. The line you flip it over is called the line of reflection. If students had any questions about the worksheets, they could ask Mr. Hatzer for help. Students had to reflect shapes across the X and Y axis and other given lines of reflections. And now it's time for question of the day. When exercising to lose weight and burn the most calories while doing a cardio exercise, what heart rate zone should you be in? Is it A, target heart rate, B, peak heart rate, C, perfect heart rate, or D, resting heart rate? If you answered A, target heart rate, then you are correct. Let's give a big congratulations to Miss Fountain's first period class for collecting the most box tops. They collected 214 box tops. Way to go, guys! Our school earned a total of $85.38. The next competition has already begun, so make sure you bring your box tops to your first period teacher. Each box top is worth 10 cents. And every little bit counts. That's all we have for you today. Stay focused on your work. And do your very best. See, See you at, at the, the map ball game. game.